Today we're going to show you how to change the detergent dispenser on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 15 Torx driver and a 3 16 nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the fuse panel or breaker panel and turn the power off there. Or if it's a portable unit, simply make sure that it's not plugged in. And we'll next open the door and on this particular model we're going to remove three screws along either side and be the bottom three screws and they're all number 15 torque screws. So just support the top of that outer door panel as you remove the last two screws on the top. And you do not need to remove the screws that hold the control panel in place. Just the bottom three on each side. And just tilt the door up to a closed position. Allow that front panel to tilt out, and then just lift it off. We can now set that aside. Let's just lift up that protective flap. And you'll see the wire harness connector and a little locking tab right at the bottom here. So just pull that tab away from the connector. And then disconnect it. And then we're going to remove these six 3 16 screws to secure that mounting bracket. And once we've removed all of the screws, we can then lift that mounting bracket off and remove the protective cover. There are two metal tabs that hold that dispenser from falling out. There's one located in the lower right hand corner. So just take a little flat blade screwdriver going underneath that, release it, do the same for the top one, and then we can remove the dispenser. And we'll discard it. Now before we install the new one, we'll open that door up fully and just go around the edge where that dispenser is going to sit and clean up any soap debris or crud that may have gathered there. So we want a nice clean flat surface for the uh, dispenser to sit in. Before we install that new dispenser, just make sure that the gasket is sitting in that channel all the way around. Then insert from the inside. You just bend those metal tabs down a little bit to allow it to hold it. And now put the mounting bracket on. Just loosely put a few screws across the bottom just to hold it. Then we'll insert that protective shield. We'll tuck that in underneath the edge of that retaining strap. Just hook it over that plastic tab in the center and make sure the Screw hole is lined up on the left hand side. And then go ahead and put the top screws in. You can now go ahead and tighten all six of those screws. We want them tight enough so that we get a good seal with that gasket to the inside of the door. Now next we'll reconnect the wire harness and again we want to make sure that that locking tab engages so make sure you push it in far enough. Now we can put the outer door panel back on. Now when reinstalling this front panel we'll be able to set that edge right in here on the bottom of the frame and that will hold it in position while we're ready to put screws on. And just tilt the door open. 
and then pull that front panel up into position so that it engages the bottom of the control panel. And then we'll put those top two screws in first. We don't need to tighten them securely yet, just enough to hold the panel. And then we can replace the remaining bottom ones. We can now reconnect power to the dishwasher and our repair is complete.